Alright, what's up everybody? I'm Ingram. I'm one of the Minecrafters and today we're going to take a quick look at how to install Sfax Pure Beadycraft from Minecraft 1.7.10. If you're looking for a different resource pack, you can still follow this video. The, t the way is the same. If you're looking for a different Minecraft version, check out our webpage, themineCrafters.com, for links to other MC versions. This guide will cover a method that works for both Mac and PC. The first thing we're going to do is head over to theminecrafters.com. Click on the Sfax Pure BD Craft button to jump to the resource pack section. Now this section has two parts due to the way Sfax wants his work to be distributed so that everyone gets proper credit and money from their ad file links if they have them. The base section on the left is the core Sfax textures. The patch side on the right contains community contributed textures for all or most of the mods in a given mod pack. To properly create a Sfax pack for a mod pack, all we need to do is dump the patch files into the base files and load them into the mod pack's resource folder. First, pick a resolution your, your computer can handle from the base side. If you're not sure, 64x is a resolution a mid-range computer can have. The lower you go, the easier it is for your computer to handle, uses less memory, but the crappier the texture quality. The higher you go, the more memory it's going to use, but the better the quality of the images will be. Follow the links, click skip add when it comes up, and download the base files. Next we'll download the patch files from our mod pack. Patch files are put out by the community, so they don't always have all the mods, and they usually only have a 64x resolution. That's okay. Just pick the one you want, the one you think your computer can handle, and follow the download links. Once you have them both downloaded, all we need to do now is to combine them. Unzip the base files and the patch folders, and open them both in separate windows. You don't have to do this part, it just makes it a lot easier. What we're going to do, I'm going to put the base files on the right and the patch files on the left. And we're going to drag everything from the patch into the base. And the reason we're going to do that is because we want to make sure that the patch files have the highest priority. If we drag the base into the pack, into the patch, we might accidentally overwrite something that we don't want to do. And then you're going to notice you still have vanilla textures for some things. So grab this pack MC meta and the pack PNG and drag them right into the base folder. When you do that, it's going to ask you whether you want to keep them or replace them. We're going to want to replace both of them. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to open the assets folder on both sides. The base should probably only have Minecraft that may change. And the assets on the patch is going to have a lot of the different mods for the mod pack that we're working with. Go ahead and select all of those and drag them into the assets folder on the base side. At this point, you have a patched version of Sfax for the mod pack you're working with. So let's just go ahead and change the name of the folder to reflect that. So we're going to say this is Sfax uh, 64x for Tekkit Legends. That's the one we just built. Okay, so now that we built our pack, all we need to do is tell Minecraft to actually use it. So to do that, load up your different mod pack, whatever you're playing, get to the launcher screen and click Options, Resource Packs, and then hit Open Resource Pack Folder. Once you have that folder opened, all you need to do is take the folder that we just created, that is the, um, the Sfax that's been patched, or the resource pack that has been patched for our mod pack, drop it in there, go back to our launcher, hit Done, wait for a little while, it's going to reapply the default pack, go back into resource packs, and now we should see that resource pack that we just made. If you're doing Sfax, it has its own icon and you should see that. And if you don't see it, you probably did something wrong. Go ahead and hit the little weird plus button to move everything onto the selected resource pack side and then hit done and wait. And when it's done processing and loading everything into memory, we're going to have a beautifully textured Sfaxified version of Tekkit Legends. And here we go. That took a little while to apply. And now we have our beautiful, everything is all Sfaxified. And whenever we play, we're going to really love it. It's not going to be the bootleg default textures anymore. If you find out that you really love Sfax and really love playing with Sfax, head over to bdcraft.net and find some way to contribute back to the community. If this video helped, please sub to our channel and share this with your friends. As always, thanks for watching. Enjoy your new Sfaxified version of your mod pack and stay poised.